How's it going guys? It's Paradise. I'm back with another Animal Crossing video and this one is an awesome farm that if you're playing Animal Crossing and you're struggling to get those bells, well this is going to be for you and it's quite simply by farming tarantulas which sell for 8,000 bells each and when you have a whole inventory full you're looking at about 300k bells per run. It is pretty nuts. So let me know down in the comments if this helps you guys out. Drop a like and subscribe for more content like this one. So first of all, you are going to need the Nook Miles ticket. It costs 2,000 miles. There is a chance that you might get an island that simply doesn't work for this. I have tried it on several different islands. Most of them seem to work, but I did have one that did not work. So hopefully you're only going to need the one ticket, but sometimes you might need a second if you get really, really unlucky. You're going to want the bare minimum in your inventory when you go to the island because you're going to be doing a whole lot of work there. So you're simply going to want to take your shovel, your trusty net to catch those tarantulas, your vaulting pole, your ladder, and of course a axe. That is not the stone axe, that is the metal axe. You're going to want to chop down some trees as well. You can also take a stack of your local fruit if you want to. You can actually use the fruit that will spawn on the island but it is a little bit safer to take a stack of your own fruit just in case. The final step of preparing is to make sure that it is past 7pm. You can see the spawn windows for Tarantula on the video now. It's past 7pm in the evening, so make sure you don't do this midday. You want to be past 7pm. Then you want to head on over there, fly over to the island, and that's where we're going to start our work by clearing out the entire island. That means we're going to pick up every weed, dig up every flower, break every rock with the fruit power up, pick up every tree. I suggest picking up the fruit and the coconut trees to take back to your own island. But if you're here just for bells, chop them all down and dig up the stumps. You do not want the stumps there either. Clear out absolutely everything until it's completely bare everywhere. Then you need to do a little bit of inventory management because you've got loads of flowers. You've probably got wood. You've got all the weeds in your bag. You want to head on over to a corner of the beach, throw it all on the floor, plant the flowers, pick them off as well, because if you leave the flowers on, they can sometimes spawn insects above them. So completely drop everything, plant all the flowers, pick up all of the flower heads, and then drop them on the floor in the corner somewhere. And then we can finally get to actually farming these tarantulas now that we've cleared the whole island and freed up our inventory space. So there is actually a couple things that you want to be keeping and paying attention to and that is that there's a limited number of bugs that can actually spawn on the island at one time. So in order to get a higher chance and to keep on spawning those tarantulas, we need to drive off all of the other bugs. That means the roaches near the beaches and on the rocks. That means any beetles or anything else that's spawning, you either want to capture them or run at them and make them go away so that we can actually try and proc another tarantula spawn. They also tend to spawn off screen. They're not just going to appear in front of you so what you want to do is do a lap around the entire island as best you can, driving off or capturing any other bugs that you don't want to be there, and that will make tarantulas just continually spawn as you free up the bug spawns on the island because you've made the perfect conditions to spawn a tarantula, which is an open, empty area past 7pm. So you simply run around the island, keep doing it over and over, drive off all the other bugs, catch every tarantula you find until your inventory is completely full. If you are struggling to capture those tarantulas, I'll give you a little tip that makes it super, super easy. If you hold A while you have your bug net out, you'll sort of walk at a slower pace, you can sneak up on bugs, and it will also help you aim your bug net. But the important thing with tarantulas is that you don't want to just run straight at them. When they have their legs up and they're shaking, that means stay still. And once they go back down, that means you can move forward a little bit. And you just simply keep on moving forward a little bit at a time until you capture it. And it's not that difficult, just don't get ahead of yourselves and run at him while he's shaking and his legs are up in the air. Just etch forwards a little bit at a time and capture them super easy with no struggles at all. Then once your inventory is chock full of tarantulas, you want to head on over to Nook's Cranny, get off the island, go back to the shop, sell them. I got about 300k in one run. It seems like it's super rewarding. It only costs the one ticket, you know, as long as you get an island that actually works with them. It seems like most do, and I just got unlucky on one of the times I tried it. 
but it's super effective and really nice and you can sort of zone out and relax while you do this farm and know that you're going to get a big payday when you head back. So I hope this helped you guys out get some chonky bells. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try this out. Drop a like if this video helped you and of course subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you're all having a great day out there and that you're all keeping well and I'll see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.